Alrighto, so today we're still on lockdown here in California and uh, I'm just going to take you on a little tour of my room here. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole house like I did last time. That video was a bit long and kind of pandered on for a while. But I am going to take you through each one of my cages up here and we're going to be introduced to all my critters. So, I uh, hope you're ready. Sure, well, let's start on this side of the room then, shall we? Got my bookcase over here. And on top of my bookcase is Millie. This is my giant African millipede. She looks like your regular average garden variety millipede right now. Until I pick her up and then you see just how big she really is. This is probably about a eight or nine inch millipede. Real cool. Get back to your squash there. And next to the bookcase, we have Mr. Adonis. Now he is uh, my original Jaguar carpet python. He's about seven feet of friendly, snaky goodness. Right now he has this whole cage all to himself, but we're gonna switch it out with a couple of other carpet pythons soon here. So he's not the only one getting spoiled with the big t terrarium here. And below Adonis, we have Freaky. Freaky is a red coastal carpet python. She's had lots of babies for me in the past, but I think she's heading towards retirement. And below Freaky, we have Namira. She is a motley golden child reticulated python. She's going to get real big one day. Reticulated pythons are the longest species of snake in the world. These guys can get upwards to about 20 feet even in captivity, and they can be uh, quite a handful. Luckily, she's pretty nice, so I don't think I'll ever have too much of an issue with her, but she is going to get quite large. And this handsome boy coming out to say hi here is Gunther. Gunther is a blue tegu. Gunther likes quail. This is just raw, whole, ground quail. This is one of his favorite treats. And over on this side of the room, we have my two Postlotheria Metallica females. They're hiding out right now. It's daytime, so good luck finding them. I see some toes back there. And on this side of the room, we have an animal plastics rack. In the first two drawers, we have Nova Guineas. Nova Guineas are a locale specific carpet python, not a morph or mutation. These guys just kind of come out looking like jaguars. These guys only get to be about four feet long. They have a totally different head structure. And uh, I'm pretty lucky I have a good group of these. Here we have another Nova Guinea named Ocho. Ocho is a bit hungry at the moment. Next we have Ares. Ares is the son of Freaky and Adonis. And in here we have Boo. He's my yellow belly bamboo ball python. This is Cheech. Cheech is my uh, Chihuahua mountain king snake. And over in this cage we have Gargamel, the gargoyle gecko. He's doing really good. He's really enjoying this nice planted up cage. On top of Gargamel here, we have some projects of mine. Some uh, red foxes coated in resin. And some uh, stones in them. These guys are pretty cool. Email me if you're uh, interested in one of these. I hopefully should be making quite a few of them this year. And back to this side of the room, we have a Freedom Breeder rack here. I'm not gonna spend time opening up each one of these, but I will show you who's inside each one. Here we go. This is Jet. She is a black rat snake. She comes with me to all the educational programs. She's super, 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 duper, duper, duper sweet. 
I, uh, I affectionately refer to her as the gothic corn snake. And next up we have Xena. She is another Nova Guinea I got from Nick Mutton. She is absolutely stunning. She's got the perfect pattern, perfect head stamp. She's super duper friendly, just perfect in every way. And this here is Raiden. He is a jungle zebra carpet python. Hopefully we'll get some babies out of him next year. This is Pixel. She is probably one of my favorite ball pythons, if not my favorite ball python. She is an orange dream yellow belly. Now I don't want to play with Pixel too much. She is uh, very likely very gravid and I want to save those babies. This is River. She is a firefly champagne ball python. Here's Amethyst, the pastel puma ball python. She might have eggs too, so we're not going to mess with her. This is Borrega. She also has eggs. She is also hungry. This is Mal, the Enchi Firefly Ball Python. He's super duper pretty. He's been doing some good breeding for me this year. That's Bindi. She's another possibly, uh, well, probably very gravid ball python. She is a fader super blast. This is Leopold. Leopold the leopard gecko. You want some food? You want to give him a worm? Let's give him a worm. Oh yeah. It's worminating time. And now we're moving on to the big wall of fun. In this rack here we have a whole bunch of baby carpet pythons all of uh, Adonis and Freaky's babies from last year. They're starting to color up really good. Uh, also in the baby rack I have these little baby California king snakes. Kind of a fun story. A friend of mine uh, caught a female out in the road and uh, decided to bring her home with her. She just happened to be gravid and uh, then he had a bunch of baby king snakes he didn't know what to do with so I said I'd take a couple. But that's not to downplay the importance of this little goober here. This is Lydia. She is my OG California King Snake. She comes with me to all the programs as well. Now down in this cage we have something real fun. This is Skexo. My green tree monitor. Never mind. <laughs> Skexo is my green tree monitor. We've been working with him for a very long time to get him to this point where he'll just take food right out of the dish from me. And over here we have Persephone, the big zebra carpet python. Hopefully her and Raiden will be making me some supers next year. Fingers crossed. In here we have Hera. She is a beautiful highlighter jungle carpet python. Hopefully her and Raiden will be making some babies next year too. And down here we have Moon Unit. She is one of Adonis and Freaky's babies. In this cage we have Soul. You might remember Soul from the last video. Soul is my white-lipped python. An absolutely gorgeous snake. Probably one of my favorite snakes in the world. And above Soul we have Demeter. Demeter is a caramel tiger carpet python. She's real hungry too. And in this bottom cage here we have Lil Gideon. No, I'm not going to take him out today either. He's all puffy. He's about to shed. He's grumpy. So we'll just leave him where he is.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little look at my uh, dwellings here in Oakland. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, go ahead and leave them. Subscribe, like, all that other jazz. I really appreciate when you do. Kind of keeps me making these things. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>